His words shaped the way this then young man viewed and participated in the struggle to end apartheid. We are referring to none other than SA's poet laureate and anti-apartheid struggle veteran Mongane Wali Serote's encounter with the late ANC president and anti-apartheid icon Oliver Reginald Tambo back in the 1980s. Now Serote has since penned a poem in praise of the late uh, Tambo titled Skatlelut O.R. Now the praise poem touches on O.R. Tambo's childhood in Bizana in the Eastern Cape, the struggle, his role in the ANC and his vision for South Africa. The poet laureate and wordsmith extraordinaire, Jones Minow, to tell us more about his latest read. And Dr. Sorota, very good morning and welcome. How are you? I'm all right. How are you, Dr. Thank Sorota? you very much. Yeah, good to morning. see you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, first of all, let's talk about your first encounter with uh, Mr. Or Tambo. I believe it is uh, in the 1970s in New York. Yes, it was. I was, I was a young man then. Uh, and I heard that uh, O.R. was going to address the uh, United Nations. Yeah. If I recall, uh, it was uh, actually to be the first time when the Security Council was to open doors for liberation movements, if I remember well. Okay. Uh, I saw him at a distance. I heard, him, I heard what he was saying. But that is around 76, 70, 74... 76, around that time, yes. Okay. That was my first encounter with O.R. Well, well, what really came out of that? What is it that you sussed out from him? What did you learn from him? Well, you know, uh, 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 what we should remember is that the African National Congress was banned. And when I left the country in 74, that is what was paramount in my, our head. People like uh, O.R. and other leaders of the ANC were as if they were a myth. You know, mm, mm. so to actually see him and listen to him and understand what he was saying about our country at that August body, uh, it was a very important thing for me. I can't remember many. It's yeah, it's that ages, yes. Yes, but I remember that it had a, a serious impact on my mind okay. to see him. Okay, we had never. Uh, it's like uh, Mandela, Mandela, but you don't know what he looks like. Right, you know? right, right. Mm. You know, uh, you are renowned for being, uh, you know, a poet extraordinaire and uh, you're highly opinionated on various issues and especially some of the, you know, uh, colorful ANC leaders. And you could have written poems for some of those ANC leaders, but you chose O.R. Tambo. Why? I chose O.R. because, you know, uh, I, I regard O.R. as one of the most outstanding uh, statespersons in the world, not only in South Africa. Yeah on the continent and uh, as a member of the African National Congress, a cadre of the African National Congress, we, we, we heard his voice almost every year on the 8th of January. Okay. And that voice gave us command as to what we need to do. Okay. And I say command, but also very uh, extensive discussions because he told us what we have to, the direction that we have to take in terms of the struggle in our country and also uh, it spoke a lot about the world spoke a lot about the continent okay. and africanist uh, thinking so you see he lived with us mm -hmm. wherever we were whether we were underground whether we were abroad whether we were students uh, he was there every year give, telling us uh, instructing what the direction of the struggle must be. So we lived with him. But also, you know, uh, any genuine member of the ANC, mm -hmm. we had deep love for OR. Mm -hmm. And I think it was his uh, being able to be very humane to people, but also he, it was also his ability to say to you when you meet him, that you must be a responsible cadre. You must do what the people of South Africa expect you to do, and that you must be working with the people of South Africa. And you know, all of us, this is enshrined in our heads. And we, it, it, uh, it is out of that that all kinds of value systems uh, of being a cadre emerged. Yeah. I mean, you know, the first time, the second time when I met uh, OR, uh, it must be in the 80s. And uh, Comrade Keshas Marke came and said, we had done quite a lot of work in uh, Botswana in terms of uh, arts and culture. 
and he felt that we should be able to brief OR. And I was asked to go and brief OR. And I mean, you can imagine what was happening. Right, I right. mean, we don't have much time, unfortunately. But yes. uh, you just said that uh, you know he was a humane yes. uh, to, yes. to to human being. So yeah, a very humane leader. Yeah. So um, what do you think he would be thinking about the current state of the ANC and uh, the state that the country finds itself in today? I think AR OR would take leadership. Would want to tell us that we cannot destroy this country. We, we cannot be distanced uh, from the people of this country, as we, we are now as the ANC, mm -hmm. and that we have to take responsibility and bring back the, the, the organization of the people to the people right. and be in, in tune with them and lead this country into non-racialism, non-sexism, and democracy. That's what he would say to us. Okay. Sikhaleluta or what does it mean, and uh, what's the significance of that? Uh, in in is it cause that, that means we pay tribute. Oh, we're paying okay. tribute to OR. I know okay. in Zulu it means kick. No, we wouldn't do that. Okay. Yes. Now, there's something that uh, he told you that changed the way uh, you viewed the ANC and South Africa in, in, in a great way. What is that? Uh, he made me a cultural worker mm. in the sense that he, when, we, when I gave a report of what we were doing in Botswana, he said a lot of things which were very encouraging, which gave us strength. But at the end, he said, we must always remember that those of us who are in the cultural front are contributing to the unity and uniting the people of South Africa. Okay. And I had never thought by writing poems, that's what I do, or by working in the cultural sector. But the manner in which he did it, he said it, it was very, it, it impacted me very directly. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Much appreciated. Well, award-winning author of numerous and uh, poetry collections and novels and a veteran of the anti-apartheid struggle and former member of parliament, Dr. Wali Mongwane Sirote, speaking to us about his latest book titled Sikatlelu O.R., which is a tribute to the late ANC president and anti-apartheid icon, Oliver Reginald Tambo.